talking about transportation. Evelyn Schultz is over at one of the bus garages this morning, checking out how the drivers and everybody over there are getting ready to start their rounds to go and pick up our kids to start the day. Evelyn, good morning. Dia, good morning to you and happy first day of school to everyone out there. Yes, we are talking about school buses like the one sitting ready to hit the road behind me here. They are considered the safest vehicle on the road, but it's up to all of us to keep it that way. This is our cross arm. And uh, what it does is it comes out 10 feet from the bus. Denny Ford has worked in school bus transportation for more than a decade, so he knows a thing or two about keeping kids safe. This is the precious cargo, most precious cargo you can ever carry. Unfortunately, he's also used to inattentive drivers putting kids in danger. You'll see them, uh, they'll be on their phone or they'll be in such a hurry that, you know, they just, they'll look the other way to think that they're, we're not looking. Well, what they don't realize is the these buses are equipped with uh, cameras and they can uh, catch you running the stop arm. Remember, flashing yellow lights mean a school bus is getting ready to stop. Red lights and a stop arm mean the bus is stopped and kids are getting on or off. There are also signs to stop for drivers on both sides of the bus so students can get to school and back safely. You don't want to put them in danger just because you, you know, you can't wait an extra 10 to 15 seconds. Not only is driving around a stopped school bus dangerous, it's also illegal. If you're caught doing it in Kentucky, you can face a fine, jail time, or even both. Well, now, Evelyn, I know here in Fayette County, they said that as far as teachers in the classroom, they're good, but cafeteria staff and even bus drivers, they're still needing to hire those. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, Dia, absolutely. You just heard from Denny Ford in Clark County. He says they're short five drivers right now. He's actually going to take over a route at the start of the school year until they can get fully staffed. I checked other districts to see which had open bus driver positions in our area. They include Fayette County, Bourbon County, Jessamine County, and Woodford County. Fayette County's website says they're hiring for multiple drivers headed into the school year.